Hey Stampers, happy Tuesday. I know it's Monday fun day, but it is actually Tuesday. So I missed yesterday. I had an unexpected commitment and now I'm back. So I figured I would do my Monday fun day on Tuesday. I have a great project to share with you today. We're gonna make this cute little gift box and it holds a cocoa and a biscotti treat. So this would be great for a friend, for a coworker, for a neighbor, anything. This is quick, comes together very quickly and is inexpensive. That's what we like. We like those kind for our Christmas gifts. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, hi Mary and Anne. And I got Rhonda. And somebody else was sneaking up on me. Yeah. All right. Well, today is an off day, so I know we are like, what in the world is she doing on today? But a little change of schedule, and so I'm here today. So now I just got a new light for my area here for um, doing my live streams. Let me know if it looks brighter, looks better. Um, it was, I was trying to use an old light and it just seemed to be getting too dark because now it's getting a little darker everywhere. By seven o'clock, it's pretty darn dark outside. So I got a new light today and I think I love it. I think it looks really, really great. So, all right, let's do a couple of little housekeeping things. Just as a reminder, we have a fabulous starter kit offer that goes for another week just till the end of October and it's the best offer I've ever seen as I, I've been doing it for 10 years now and I've not seen a better one than this. Um, 35 in celebration of 35 years and that's Stampin' Up! You can either get the 35% off the cost of a starter kit. Now a starter kit you're always going to get $125 worth of product. So that's going to bring it down to around $69 for $125 worth of product. Comes to you, no shipping, um, lets you um, become a member of this wonderful Stampin' Up! community. You are also um, have the option to go to events and things like that. One of the best decisions I ever made. Love being a part of this community made such great friends or you could do 35 percent more product so you're going to start at the base price again which is 125 i mean 99 but instead of getting 125 dollars you get like 169 dollars worth of product so it depends which way you want to go do you want a cheaper starting kit or do you want more product at the original price if you have any questions about that and would like to talk to me about that, I would love to chat with you. You could become a part of our fun little group here. I call my group the Creator Circle, and um, it's a great bunch of gals, mostly in the Pennsylvania area, that love to stamp and create things, and you can become a part of that too. All right, let's go ahead um, and get started. Okay. We are going to be making this one this evening. Uh, this is made using the Joy of Christmas Suite. And this will be the last project I'm gonna make using this suite. Let me go give you just a quick glimpse of what's available in this suite. This is the suite that I made my um, kit that has been just sent out to everyone. It's got two bundles, the Joy of Noel bundle and the Christmas Classics Bundle. Fantastic um, die cuts. The paper is amazing. We're gonna use some of the paper tonight. Beautiful, very classic and traditional um, type of paper. And it also has the great gingham ribbon, which I love. And lastly, I'm gonna be using some of these cute little gems for my project tonight. Sadly, they are still not available. I know I owe these um, gems to a lot of people that got my kit and I haven't forgotten that, but as soon as they're available, 
I will get them out to you. I've heard it's not till mid-November, but I go on every day and make sure that they're still not available. And if they are, I will get them immediately and get them sent to all my kit people. All right, so that's what we're gonna be using tonight to make this cute little box. And as always, I always will offer on my blog a um, hard copy of the project that we're doing this evening. All the directions, all the products, all the um, dimensions that you can have, download, make a copy of, and have for um, your notes when you decide to make this project. But it's pretty quick, and um, it's just a real nice choice for... Um, a quick little Christmas gift. All right, I do have one other thing, and many of you have gotten back to me. My November card kit, it, I had my launch for my November card kit, and I am currently taking orders for that. Hi, Deb Gray. And these are the cards. It is a fun fold class using the Merry, Bold, and Bright. You're gonna make this cute little Z fold card. We're gonna make four of those. And this is a joy fold. It's a card that gives you a big hug. That is another we'll be making. And I love the little Christmas lights on this. And this is an easel card. This one you can stand up. You're, the recipient can stand it up on their desk. Really neat little fun fold card ideas. You'll get enough materials to make 12 of these cards plus envelopes. Lots of great paper, lots of great embellishments, $25 plus $8 of shipping and handling. I'm taking orders for this um, till October 31st. So if you haven't talked to me already, please message me and I'll get your name on the list. Okay, I promise now we're gonna start the project. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the materials we're gonna be using. Firstly, I wanna show you what is gonna go inside, okay? I love these for lots of reasons. They're very delicious. You can get them at the grocery store and they're individually wrapped. So they're great for these type of projects. You get a cute little biscotti. This one is the dark chocolate, all different kinds. There's a cinnamon, really 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 great so i like them mostly because they're individually wrapped and easy to put into a gift and then i got the lando lakes um hot cocoa mixes and these are already in the grocery store as well so you could go pick these up quickly and start working on these for friends and family so these are what are going to go inside okay so let's go ahead and get started we're going to start with a piece of crumb cake cardstock, and it's cut at seven and a half by nine and three quarters. Hi, Brooke. Nice to kind of see you online. Hope you're doing well. All right, so this is seven and a half by nine and three quarters. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna grab my trimmer here, and we're gonna do some scoring. All right, on the long side, we are going to score at four and a quarter. And remember when it's that short, I like to go to the right side of the channel here and line it up with the four and a quarter there. All right, then I'm just gonna take my bone folder and go right down the channel there. Okay, I just like to use that. That's because it's just me. All right, next is going to be on the long side, eight and a quarter. All right, eight and one quarter. Does that sound right? I think it's nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter, no. Okay, I'm making sure my, my uh, measurements are right here. Hold on. Just when you think you're ready to go. All right, let's see, yeah, it's eight and a quarter. Okay, I'm doubting myself, but I just should keep going. Eight and a quarter it is. All right, and I'm just gonna make sure that this is cut at seven and a half by nine and three quarters, yes. Okay, so 
Now we're going to go on the short side. And the short side is at one half. So I'm going to go here to the right again of the channel. One half. Okay, then I'm going to turn it and go to two and three quarters. Four. And six and a quarter. And remember all these numbers Measurements, products will all be on my blog, and there will be a downloadable if you'd like. Okay, so that is it for that. Let's go ahead and grab my bone folder again, and we're going to go ahead and crease on all the score lines. This comes together nice and quickly. Not even much cutting to do with this one. We had a beautiful day down here in South Carolina. We're still going up to the 70s and the 80s during the day, but it, the, the evenings are nice and cool, like fall weather, so it's pretty nice. Okay, now if you look at the construction here, this just pinches together at the top. There's not a like a lid that closes, so it's going to come up and we're going to pinch it together at the top, and then the other portion, the flaps close on the bottom. So if you look at your paper here, uh, at your cardstock, you want to hold it in a landscape position, and you're going to notice that you have two panels across the bottom and the top. You want to make sure the one across the top is the wider one, okay, and the one across the bottom is the skinnier one, okay, and then you're just going to go ahead and the first thing you're going to do is go up that first vertical score line and just cut that tiny little rectangle off in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, then we're going to create our flaps across the bottom. Okay, so the big rectangles are the, are the um, bottom, the panels that are going to be on the bottom. And then we're going to create these little flat side flaps that are going to fold in. And I always like to cut a little bit away on those just so everything goes together nicely there. So that's the bottom so far. So good. Okay. Now for the top, we're not going to cut any of that off at all. The only thing we're going to do here is at this score line, okay, you're just going to cut a little V away. Right here where the score line comes, you're going to cut that off and then wedge it a little bit on the sides. Because when this comes together and adheres together, this is going to have to bend a little bit when you pinch the top. And this just allows you to do that without any paper getting all crunched together. So you're just going to take that little pie-shaped piece out of there, just like that. That's it. Okay, now before I put it together, I'm going to go ahead and grab my designer series paper. As I said, the designer series paper is from the Joy of Christmas suite. And these pieces are cut at two and one eighth and seven and one eighth. Okay, I'm going to grab my Tombow and let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and adhere those to the large panels on our crumb cake piece here. Okay. Okay. And here. These are two. There we go. And these are a little too long. Oh, Got to watch my cutting. There we go. That's better. Should have done it on Monday when I had my self going there. There we go. All right, so those are going to fit on those pieces right there. And let me go back and check the size. Make sure it was not um, incorrect. Yes. Two and an eighth by seven and an eighth. Yep, that's what it is. I just cut these panels wrong. So that's right on the, um, the sheet. Right 
So then what we're gonna do after we get those on is we're gonna close up the box. We're gonna just put a line of glue along that edge, fold it over, and then just fold over the other part right there. That assures you that you're gonna have a nice square box. I learned that early, trying to hold it up and get it measured um, isn't as quite as accurate as if you do it just laying it down like that, okay? So that, you just make sure you give it a good press and then you have a nice square box. Look at that, perfect. All right, we're gonna turn it on its head and we're gonna put in the side panel, the side flaps here, and let me look and see where the back is. Okay, so this is the back. So that's gonna be the front. So the front flap is gonna go over last. Okay, let me see. So we're gonna go ahead and, let me get my glue out. We're gonna go ahead and place that. The glue will go on the front flap and flap back, okay? Because then we'll have our nice square front. All right, there we go. I'm gonna put it down. Now I can go ahead and put my items inside and I'll show you how I do that. I'm gonna take the um, cocoa pack pouch and I'm gonna fold it in half and just slide it right down along the side. Okay, then I'm gonna take my biscotti and put that down the other side. And then all you have to do on the top is just, you push your finger in here and then you squeeze together. And then that creates your little V right there. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my ribbon. I have some garden green ribbon here and we're going to go ahead and tie this closed. If you notice here on my box, I tied it closed and then I added a second ribbon to tie the tag on. So that's how I'm going to do it. Sometimes I put the tag right onto this ribbon, but today I'm going to just go ahead and put it as a second piece of ribbon. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and tie this closed at the top. That's the wrong way. Got to use it right-handed. There we go. Okay, now go ahead and gonna do an over, under, pull it tight, and then just We go not too bad for the first go and that will hold it closed it doesn't have to be super super tight but that'll hold your top closed for you okay now let me see if I can fluff this a bit let's see there we go hmm let me try again it doesn't He's not co cooperating with his fluffiness. Come on, you. Okay, that one looks a bit better. Ooh, somebody's driving down the street. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and take my snips here and I'm gonna cut away. And there we have our box, okay? Now we're not done, we're gonna go ahead and create our little tag now. Thanks, Christine, welcome, glad you could make it. All right, now what I did is I took some more of the um, DSP from the Joy, Joy of Christmas suite and I cut it out using the tailored tag suite. I'm not sure if I have that here to share, but this is in the annual catalog. It just has a series of different size um, tags and different little scalloping along the edge, but it's called tailored tags. It's a great one to have in your stash. Oh, thanks, Brooke. I, you know how I love making boxes. That is my thing. All right, now I'm also gonna use this die cut from the suite. Um, 
and this is in cherry cobbler okay there's also another die that cuts out the letters of noel and i cut it out of the um the paper that has the gold foil kind of wood grain that's the one i chose for that so the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and adhere those to this cute little square okay so i'm just going to put a little glue on these don't need a lot and these kind of just fit perfectly inside the little square this is such a neat little die cut i just think this one is so cute has a very traditional festive look okay and let's put the e below Anybody going to watch the Phillies tonight? Hi, Jean. Oh, you can always catch up later. We're making a little box for a biscotti and a cocoa. It was one of your requests. It was a customer request. So there is the cute little Noel. And I'm just going to add that right to the tag using some dimensionals. Okay. So let's put a few dimensionals on here and then we're going to put that right in not quite the center of the tag a little bit towards the top because we're going to want to um, put a little pine bough at the bottom or evergreen bough so i'm going to go ahead and place this right about here okay so there we go now the last thing we're going to add to this is this cute little pine sprig and this is from the suite as well and i cut it out using shaded spruce perfect green for the holidays okay and i'm just going to go ahead and place that here at the bottom just like that then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of those gems and I know, I know that they're not available and, and I'm hoping they'll be available soon, but um, they're just so pretty. I can tell why they were so popular, but we're gonna go ahead and use some of the red gems and put them on here as berries, but soon to be back in the store. So I'm just going to put three little dots of glue and then I'm going to use my pick tool and just pull out the little berries or the little gems that we're pretending are berries and just lay those right in the little dot of glue. I'll tell you with having such big hands and big fingers this little pick tool has saved my life or I would have things stuck to me by now all right well there's the tag isn't that so cute so quick so easy to make all right let's go ahead and add it to our box now the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to bring in an additional um ribbon this is actually metallic trim this is available in i believe in the annual catalog they have the gold and the silver we're going to be using the gold tonight because it kind of matches with our noel so i'm going to cut off a piece of that trim and i'm going to put it right through the hole there and then i'm just going to attach it to my garden green ribbon right here I'm gonna go ahead and put it up underneath and I just like because it adds a little more of the metallic shine to your to your box and it lets your tag lay right in the middle of the front so I'm just gonna pull on these um, ribbon ends till I get it where I want it. I like it a little smaller than the than the original or the first bow, but that's really up to you. And then I just kind of cut off the ends. And there you have it. Isn't that just so cute, so pretty? I really like this. 
All right, let me show you one that I made using the suite that is coming up for my next series of projects. This is the Mary Bold and Bright, and this is a very different type of a suite. This is more, much more contemporary, has contemporary um, colors and things like that, but I made the exact same box using um, the new colors in this and these adorable little um, Christmas lights. I just love with the cute little filaments. What is the finished size of the box? Okay, let me get my ruler out, dear. I, I don't know if you were here when I showed what, what's inside, but I put in a biscotti. Hi, Dawn. Hey, we're just glad you made it. It's on the wrong day anyway, Dawn, so I'm the one that's mistaken today. It has this biscotti inside. Let me just open it. Let me open this one. I'll still measure, but I just wanted to tell you what fit for me, okay? I put this Land of Lakes inside and the biscotti inside, okay? The finished size, let's see. Okay, ruler please. Okay, we are about two and a quarter by one and a quarter and up to the pinch point is about seven, little less than seven inches. Okay, so two and a quarter, one and a quarter, seven. Okay, so you could fit a lot of good stuff in there. Okay, but I was, um, I've always liked this um, cocoa a little better than the regular that you can get. And I, I always look for these around Christmas. And these are actually in the grocery store for like 65 cents. So. Um, they're really um, a good price now, and they've got lots of different flavors as well. They've got like a mint and vanilla and a white chocolate, all kinds of good stuff. So, yes. So, just wanted to share this with you because starting um, on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, I will be doing projects using the um, Mary Bold and Bright and I'm very excited about that. So yes, it is a nice size. You could fit loads of stuff in there. I think you could, it'd be a great size, but yes. Um, I can't think of anything else I wanna share for the night. For tonight, thank you for joining me on the off day, on a Tuesday when it's a Monday fun day. And all this information will be on my blog so that you can go ahead and get any information there. Um, the, the dimensions, the different products I used, and if, of course, if you have any, any um, questions, you can always contact me. Make sure if you are interested in the next um, card kit that you let me know as well. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. Take care and keep on stamping. Bye-bye now.